to see my mom. This is my mother, Lillian Marino. She is the expert. I know nothing. I'm not an expert. Yes, you uh, are. You're fantastic. Yes, 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 yes. Even the ice cubes taste better in this oh house. Oh, my God. Okay? So, and you know what I want to just say? Let me embarrass the crap out of her. My mother cooks for not just me and my husband, oh, but she God. does it for the whole neighborhood. Oh, I do not. Yes, not you do. And she shares with everybody. Not to mention she worked at the senior center for years, right? And... Oh, I got my resume going on here. What's this? What is it with this? A resume? Yeah. So... I share what I make with a few people. You go for it, okay? Okay. So now I we have dough. You could make your own dough. This is frozen dough or whatever, and I defrost it. And I put a little flour on the, uh, the, the table here, and you get your rolling pin, and you roll it out. Okay. Now remember, people are going to be taking notes, so don't be whipping through this because we know you're an expert, okay? Well, I'm so, using my rolling pin. I know, but I want you to go nice and slow so everybody can follow you, okay? <laughs> She's so fresh, okay? Giving me crap, okay? <laughs> okay, seriously? Now, if you guys have any questions for my mother, I want you to hammer her because she's been giving me crap all morning. I've been okay. you crap all yeah. day. You, you are so hard. I mean, I, what was it, three minutes and I'm behind the camera now. I'm the producer. Forget it. You know what it is? It's Shifu Lillian's kitchen now. It's not my kitchen no, no, anymore. No, no. no, she's a good helper. She's a good helper. See, try to make it, you don't want it too thin because it'll break. As I can see, it'll, my, my, my oh, it came out there. phenomenal. You know what? Can I show them the finished product show so they the can finish. be salivating? Show them the finished okay. one. So this, this, I'm pretending to be Anthony Pasquale. This is your finished product, okay? So this beautiful golden brown dough with sesame seeds. The egg mixture is what makes it golden brown, yeah, right? Definitely. And then look, see the layers and how it's all. We roll it like a crescent roll or like a cinnamon roll. We don't do that stuff where you just take the dough and tuck it under all the stuff. That is not Italian. All right, so you try to make it as thin as you can, so it doesn't take that long. Put a little flour, because it's kind of, this is kind of sticking. Of course, the one that I'm going to It's beautiful. No one gives a crap, right, okay? But it'll be all right. Ah, <laughs> someone just said Joe Pesci would be proud. <laughs> Who said that? James Theros. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. We have the Italiano music playing in the background. We love Italian music. My dad always played the um, accordion for us, so he's with us today in spirit. He loved when my mother cooked. So now if anyone has a question, I can relay it to my mother while she's rolling this dough out. She's rolling her little heart out over here. By the way, I heard a noise out there, and guess what it was? The cat knocked my vase of flowers over. She's between the dog and the cat. I know. All I got... we need is a partridge in a pear tree. I know, seriously. I heard that somebody had a turtle up for adoption that was like 40 or 50 years old. I'm thinking, gee, maybe I ought to get that too. Yeah, so while she's rolling out dough, I have to pick up the water. The cat spilled in the back. What is it with those plants? She uh, wrecks plants. All right, so this is getting to be thin enough. We're going to roll it like a cinnamon roll. Yep. By the way, you look lovely. The lighting. It's very, it's very flattering. She's going to... Mr. DeMille, can I do my close-up now? She is literally going to kick my rear end when yeah, this I is over. Yeah, I think so. It's getting get close to it. Hi, Laurie. Actually, the one that I'm going to demonstrate is... It's I'm perfect. I'm, I'm yeah, so right now we have about 80 people watching you. Oh, dear, but you're nothing like uh, oh, teasing. We have that. eight people. We Nine. Nine people now. Okay. Oh, people. Now, we have a question. Do you let the dough sit out at room temperature? Uh, I usually put uh, in towels. I have like a towel, and I put it because I, if I use frozen dough, it to frost fully. Uh-huh. And, uh, and then I put it between, uh, like on a uh, towel, and I put, I, I've made five. I got three calzones I'm making and I made two pizzas. But, and that's why I use the towel. But you have to put it in a, like a, a, a towel. 
and fold it over so it's warm. You want mm -hmm. it to be warm so it's easy. So you stuff. leave it out. How long would you leave it out? Isn't that what makes it rise up? That, like it gets all puffy? Isn't that what well, does it? Well, that's if you're making your own dough. This is already the dough that's made. But doesn't this dough fluff up when it you does. put it? It does. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But the heat is what does it. The towel, you put it between in the towels. Okay. And that makes it... Uh, all right, so I think this is ready now to... Okay, so hopefully that answers your question, Lisa. So yes, you do leave it out. Yeah, you want um, it to be warm because it's easy to spread. Okay. So she is rolling the crap out of this dough. All right, so there it is. I think this is okay. Now you're sure that's not going to stick, right? We hope not. Okay, beautiful. It's sticking. Of course it's sticking. Oh. The one that I'm going to text there. Me... You keep putting the pox on it. What do you want? Stop saying it. Okay. I want you to say, my dough is lovely. My okay? dough is lovely. Okay. You like the background music? Yeah, I, I got the Ginzo station on YouTube. All right, I think this is going to be okay. All right, so now the first thing is the spinach. Like my daughter said, the recipe usually calls for escarole, mm -hmm. but it's black. We so, like to zhuzh the recipe. So I like spinach better. And this is what I use when I make my spinach pie. Can you hold it up so they can see it? My spinach pie. It's chopped spinach. Yep. And I, I saute a chopped onion in it. Mm-hmm. And you make sure you, you drain all the water out of the spinach. Oh, someone just said they loved it. They gave you some love. See, that's it. So Okay, so you, you have the you, spinach mixture with the onions, yeah, and it, it's it sautéed. It, it's more flavor. And it's sautéed in the butter, and it gives it more flavor. Yeah. Okay, this doesn't need any more flavor. This thing is awesome, okay? When you knock it off, you're going to curse this thing. I am not cursing it. It's delicious. See, we're very humble in this family. Some people, they act like they're all that in a bag of chips. My family, we're not like that. My grandmother, her mother, was fantastic. And you, you would have thought that, you know, she was, you know, making something that was frozen, like that you would just stick it in the top. Amazing. Try to spread it out so each corner has some of this mixture in it. Okay, so you got that down. Now, what's your next layer? So the next we're going to do is the cold cuts. So you have cooked salami, and we cut it in yeah, quarters. Cut it in quarters. Oh, James feels like family today. Too bad you don't live in the state, James, because my mother would cook for you too. <laughs> we'll send you home with a little goodie bag. Seriously. <laughs> oh, stop it! You I doing? got people in the neighborhood telling me they need elastic pants. It's like <laughs> welcome to my freaking world. Seriously. So now you sit down. <laughs> okay. How much spinach? Right. One or two cups. I use a package. She uses a package. One package of frozen so, spinach. So, Laurie, let me just tell you, I've never seen this woman use a measuring cup. That's what but happens when you... You don't need a measuring cup with this. But we, you know, the so thing is... Look, this, this is how I do it with the, with the cooked salami. You spread over a layer of the cooked salami. It's, this is sliced real thin, which is better. Mm -hmm. Because it has a much better flavor when it's thin. So when you go to the cold cut counter, what do you ask for? I ask for, for a cooked salami. So it's cooked salami. It's yeah. not like, um, what's that one they call? Get the one. There's one that's Corando. I don't like that one as well. This one is called, uh, it's kind of like a, a Polish name to it. So okay. I always ask the guy, the one that has the funny name, and he gets the right one for me. Your spinach, is it an eight ounce package? Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, eight ounces is good. Yeah, and then just make sure it's drained really good. Drain that spinach, okay? And the deli salami is uh, Corando, you said? No, it's not. I, I, they have it in Corando, but I like the one that's... Uh, is it Genoa? Mashifitz or something. It's got a funny name, like a Polish name. Mashifitz does not sound Polish. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys. I the name. Wait a minute. It's on that package. Go see the package. The package it. I threw in the freaking trash. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But, okay. But it has the name on okay. it. Okay. Let's just say generically, we'll say cooked salami. Okay. To God. Okay. Right. So you got your cooked salami. Now you got your American. Say. See now. You got plenty. I think this is just going to make it. See, Someone I said it sounds see, Jewish. See, I think it you does. Know what happened? Put a lot of them in the other two. I've already this made is perfect. two of them. She's so worried. And what so happens worried. is when you put too much cold cuts in it, I want to show you. No, that. I'm not showing them that because no one cares. Well, she split. that's what happens. It explodes. But the taste is there. Okay, let, let me show you. This is what she's freaking out over. I'm not freaking out. I'm just telling you that's is what this, happens. Is this pan hot? When you overstuff it, no. Okay. I have a tendency okay. to put She's all on. upset because this split a little bit. Like, okay. I guess people wouldn't want to eat that, even though, you know, I would shove my face in this in five seconds. Look at how beautiful it looks when it's done. 
Okay? All right. So, anyway, I could use a little bit more, but this is going to have to do. It's beautiful. So, you've got the uh, cooked salami. Now, it's one layer of cooked salami. And now, we're going to put the American cheese. So, we eat. Try to get it around the edges because you want it to. Do you need me to cut you anymore? You good? Uh, I think I might be good. Now, do you have your palm? Okay. So you're done with this, right? Do you need this anymore? Uh, no. Okay. She's I'm been very helpful. She's a good helpmate. I'm like Monk. I have to constantly clean when I'm cooking. Yeah, she's good. I don't like any clutter. Okay, so. Someone said, this. throw out that calzone and they'll come over and get it. Okay, Lisa <laughs> said, throw it out and she'll come get it. Seriously. See how easy it is? It's, it's not, not hard. hard. You it's know what? You all. have to do your prep ahead of time and you got to follow a recipe. And, and know, it's not hard. My mother-in-law used to make this. And then my mother took the recipe and she added her little thing to it. Yep. I took the recipe and I added my little thing to it, so you make it your own. You do, you make it your own. I like to refer to that as zhuzhing it up. Zhuzhing it up. You're yeah. zhuzhing it up. My mother was the one that did the uh, the, the sesame seeds on mm -hmm. it, and that made it really, it really. It is the best. I need more cheese. You need more cheese? Okay, let me go get it. Sorry, folks, I'm juggling food prep and being the producer. Here, I, I thought this was my show. All right, give, <laughs> all right, give it to me. Give it no, to me. No, I'll do it. I'm kidding. She's got me like the hired help here. Sorry about this. That's okay. So try to thin it out on the sides here because you don't want it to be. And that's what I do. Just kind of. Here we go, sweetie. There's more cheese. All right, thanks. Oh, okay. Well, whatever you don't use, we'll get to the dog. I know sure how a dog that loves cheese. This dog, dog is my spirit cheese. animal. This dog likes cheese and bread. I could live on cheese and bread. Okay, let's see. The right house. I'll tell we you need that. our own show. I would love to have a cooking show. I, we have a YouTube channel, so uh, I'm actually going to relaunch it. So it's called Shifu Rita Pasquale. Um, I don't know why I didn't call it Shifu Rita's Kitchen. I built the thing like six years ago, and I had to basically beg YouTube to let me back in. Oh. And it was ridiculous. I had to have them message my phone and send them a text from my phone. And I'm like, for what? A freaking Pizzelli recipe? They have oh, top so security. So it's ridiculous. So I have my YouTube channel up. So if you guys want to subscribe, Shifu Rita Pasquale, go to YouTube, and I'm going to be I'm putting this up there. Okay, so now you did your cheese. Now your next layer is the chopped olives, the chopped right? Olives. I love this song. Do you know what it's called? What? I don't know. I'm asking you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds familiar. Dad used to play this. Sorrento, I think. Something like Sorrento. I love Italian music. I do too. I like everything Italian. Mm-hmm. Yes, we're very proud of our heritage, and just so you know, we are Sicilian, okay? Uh, my mother's family comes from Shaka, which is like the fisherman village. So everybody there was a fisherman. Her father was a fisherman. He was a captain of a boat. And um, I just cut these in little, little rings. You could chop them if you want, but I, I just make them into little You rings. slice them. Yeah, slice them. You don't want them all cluttered like in one spot. Mm -hmm. See how easy is this an easy recipe, ladies? I'm assuming all ladies are on here. Actually, no, you have ladies and gentlemen. Really? Yes. Everybody wants to learn how to cook, Ma. It's not gender specific. Do you know what the cooking is? It, a desire. Mm -hmm. You can make anything you want to make if you have the patience and the time. And you want to, if there's somebody in your family likes something, I'll make it. No matter how long it takes, I'll make it. I'm not saying I'm going to make it all the time, mm -hmm. but I will make it. Okay, it says, my dream is to go to Italy. Yes, we would love to go to Italy, too. And last but not least? The Parmesan cheese, which is phenomenal. Easy peasy, absolutely. You could actually make this with kids. It's pretty easy. Actually, I think kids like to... Reed is the one that gave me the idea to put the Parmesan on this because she loves Parmesan cheese. We put cheese. Parm on everything. So I says, you know what, let me have the Parmesan cheese. You want it, to join it, it, Oh, it just makes it, it makes better. it makes it even creamier. All right? Now we come to the tricky path. First, you got to do the sign of the cross. The last two I've made, I kind of had a little trouble with it. So here we go. Now you got to roll it like a... Like um, a cinnamon roll. 
It says, I feel like I'm at the food court at the Palazzo Hotel in Vegas with that music. I know. I love that Italian was music. That idea. Well, if my dad was here, he'd be playing the accordion. So oh, it kind of makes me say, feel like... Do we have any requests? Yeah. Olivia! I miss Olivia! Olivia and her mom, Kelly, are watching. Hi, guys. See how it's sticking? This is the only one that was sticking. The it's, other ones weren't sticking. You're still doing phenomenal, Ma. Right, so this is what you do. It's like, now wow. Here, here's the trick now. So I get your spatula right, over there, okay? This is a cookie sheet that I've uh, already sprayed with the uh, cooking spray. And you kind of fold it under. And you try not to see the seam that you've got under there. You're trying to see look at how, how this gel is like this. This was mm -hmm. nice. It's always the way. Trying to get this to stay still. I have a brand new tripod. I have to figure out the little. So tell you kind of try to make it seal. You don't want it to seal so that it doesn't open. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't have as much in it as the other ones do, so it shouldn't split open. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see it. Look at that. Now they call this in uh, Sicily pantaloon, right? Yeah. So it what? used to be, they would make it and they would twirl it this way, but I like, it's easier to cut when it's, it's like this. And I just go over to try to tuck in the sides so it doesn't break open. Anybody have any questions? Yep, so if you have questions on what you just saw my mom do, I will relay them and she can answer them while she's fussing with that thing. All right, so now we So got let's see if anyone has a question. Uh, let's see, I have Joe watching. I have Angela. I'm waving to everybody. Susan Larkin. Susan okay. Larkin's on there? Susan Larkin. I used to babysit you, Susan Larkin. Um, anyone have questions for my mom on this phenomenal so this is what recipe? You do. This is an egg wash. Now, this is what makes it golden brown. And it also makes the sesame seeds stick to it, okay? So this is to die for. See, what happened is I've made five of these. So this one was out, uh, under that thing, a little, and so it got a little on the dry side. My mother is popping out calzone and pizza in this place like muffins in an oven, okay? And you're 85, okay? Unbelievable. Okay, do you use American because it melts better? Can like you an, use shredded? I like American cheese. I like American cheese. Can you cheese. use shredded mozzarella? No. I, well, I'm not saying no, but I've never used it. It might come out good. If you want to, I, I've never done it myself. I would love to come to Florida, but James. Thank you. 